Okay, here we are. Uh, my friend Nori prepared uh, the letter for me with the air tag I did send him. And he went to the post office in Kure to get it on the way. And then from Kure I could follow it that it went by truck to Hiroshima to the mail distribution center there. Which is a rather large one I must say. When you look at the facility it's a... Uh, it's quite a sizable center and it spent the night there and the very next day it was on its way to Tokyo on the road by truck and um, I could follow it all the way. Um, occasionally I even got a signal when the truck was in a tunnel which I found amazing and of course all the truck stops. And there were quite a few. I'm, I'm amazed. They're not, they're not driving very long. They have uh, breaks sort of every three hours. And um, to my biggest surprise, that um, AirTag went to Kansai Airport in Osaka. And I said to myself, that is quite unusual. That is not what I expected to happen. I thought Tokyo would be the thing and not Osaka. And um, I had a look and I couldn't find any flights to Australia and I was, I was confused to put it mildly. So there at Kansai Airport it went um, to the mail center and um, it stayed there for a while. And um, yeah, so I looked around, couldn't find any flights. I said, oh, that's odd. And then it moved back to where it came. And the next thing I see it back on the road. And this time on the freeway to Tokyo. And uh, it gave me a few pings. Then there was a rather large break. And then I got a few more pings. And um, the next ping I got after that was um, at Narita Airport um, in Tokyo. And there it went to the cargo center and uh, stayed there overnight. And uh, then I could see the next day it arrived at the terminal and I could figure out the flight. That was a flight to Melbourne with uh, Japanese Airlines. And I said, yep, that makes sense, that it's uh, where we're going. And um, then the air tech stayed there at the airport till it arrived, or oh, the, uh, the last ping I got there till it arrived in Melbourne. And here you see the flight path. And um, so after Narita, the next ping I got from Melbourne. And in Melbourne, uh, it stayed for a few days. I was not very happy about that. That was not what I expected. And that's the usual place where the letters go. And then, of course, I was on the road to Adelaide. And, um, yeah, that took a while. And then it went to a mail distribution center. And then I had another surprise. Um, when it went to Adelaide, it went to Adelaide Airport and I couldn't make head and tail of it. I said, what is going on? Why is it going to Adelaide Airport? Will it fly to Darwin? I mean, hey, strange things to happen, you know. We have seen quite a few amazing, um, amazing things, but no, it did not uh, fly to, to Darwin. It went um, to the GAN distribution center, or to the distribution center that is close to the GAN. And uh, I have worked out now the pattern uh, where it goes. And um, yeah, so that's where uh, the mail for Darwin that comes with the GAN will be loaded into a um, container and the container then will be loaded uh, onto the GAN. Uh, the GAN is not the um, passenger, plane, uh, passenger train, it's a freight train. 
And it's a rather long one. I've uh, encountered uh, these trains a few times and they're several kilometers long, so it's quite a bit. Yes, this place there in Bill Billery Road, uh, this is where it goes then to the container uh, place and then onto the, onto the train. And um, the train ride from Adelaide to Darwin takes about uh, two and a half, three days. And uh, when it arrives in Darwin, it goes to the East Arm uh, facility where the container will be unloaded. That is here in O'Sullivan Court or Circuit, Circuit, not Court. And um, the next thing is it's uh, in the mail distribution center in Darwin, walking distance from my office, as you can see. And then it went to the um, post office in Parap, where I have my, my letter box, and there is the letter, all the way from Kure in Japan. Okay, guys, so much for this uh, journey. See you on the next one. Have fun. See you later. Bye-bye.